So I am running Cyberpunk, which is why at Games Expo UK I went to Lucky Battle Map store and got the Cyberpunk Giant Book Battle Maps. And I realise I said that a little bit wrong, but you get the idea. Alright, the world of Cyberpunk is futuristic, okay? There's a video game I've been playing and, you know, it's very neon, very Blade Runner, I suppose. Very violent, very dystopian future. What do we get in these 60 pages? This stands as the useful blank map that you should always get to write, draw your own things. Our first scene here, neon graffiti. Looks to me like you would drive your vehicle into these parking spaces and it's kind of like motels, beds, toilet, etc. More suburban, futuristic city, places to eat, a crossing, a store, an out in the street fight location I guess, which is, uh, could be said for anywhere. This uh, restaurant is very on brand for the future of talking with patrons, etc. A meeting gone wrong. Uh, someone nips off to the toilet, comes back, and the person they're meeting is dead. Look at the neon of the streets, which is lovely. But you could have this be somewhere else. You could have it in your D&D proper game. Maybe as a dream sequence, or as, a, as another realm that you invented. Fit in what you like. Down to the subway, here. Fill this full of bustling traffic and have the local cops have an altercation with the players. A car lot? This is just, you know, totally different to what you normally have, and I love the variety at my fingertips. But my player's gonna have a blast walking around these types of locations. So vibrant and colourful. Just, what does that say? Rapid transit. Is that some sort of tra yeah, train, I guess? Uh, train track. An helicopter pad on top of one of the mega structures. Big store, supermarket kind of place. Then, I don't know, municipal building, offices, internet cafe, I don't know, take your pick. It's uh, whatever you bring up in your mind. You get why it's kind of futuristic and sleek, clean. So you're normally living in, you live in one of these overcrowded apartment blocks and this is all drops down to the previous floors, like in a huge complex. So maybe this is home base for one of the, or two of the characters, or all of the characters live on this floor, maybe? I don't really understand this one. It looks like it's underwater or something, but then goes down to the subway, but... Yeah, different. As long as it's different, you can set the scene and players feel like they've been on a, on a journey, on a legitimate journey. A souped-up apartment for the rich, which is where they might meet someone really precocious and wonder whether they want to help them. Or with private security, breaking into their, their place to steal some sort of package. All very on brand. A fight down at the local container yard with some thugs. Brilliant. Not sure what this is. I think it would be like some sort of very much in town, all graffitied walls. And maybe underneath a huge complex. So these are all pillars where the vagrants sleep and stuff. Not entirely sure what these are. It's cool. A typical outdoors place with a small shack away from everyone. A place to drive your vehicle and smash into each other. Maybe a challenge from another crew. Again, Pacifica uh, more is more like rundown. Crime ridden part of cyberpunk law. Desolate roads maybe between cities. Ideal ambushes places. These th places have been picked clean, broken down. Cyberpunk version of just field outland. Train tracks with one kind of collision. Uh, used to be working and is now desolate perhaps. Shanty town for meeting up with people. And we have another absolutely bear, which is great. And they finish off with the menu, so you can jump straight to the pages you want. So that's going to do half the work for me when I run Cyberpunk. And again, bought with my own money, out of choice, and uh, I hope you like the product.